should like move away from the parrot here. You said that one. Covered. Alright guys, this is a 2005 GMC Savannah. If you want to be particular, it is a bus. I mean simple. I I'm simplifying it. You can play with two. Welcome to my bus. It is made by my uncle. This is the bathroom. And there is a shower that the water. I'm not doing so. I'm not doing so. Oh, I'll turn this on. <laughs> I'll turn this on. A shower that will go straight, straight through the cracks so it won't flood the house. Bus thing. And you never want to use too much water, always one minute or 30 seconds shower. This is the toilet. It is a composting toilet. The compost, I mean the poop and the pee, <laughs> goes right through here and it ends up in this container that I don't know how long it is. And then, if you come aboard, we have a very nice area, which is my personal favorite. Here, would you like to show the area? But she's in a very nice area that she will show after. Nice computer and to drink for your coffee. This can be used to eat or to do your work or to do really do anything you want except dance on it. That would be kind of irrespectable or disrespectful. Next is the glamorous kitchen that has just been redoed, which is fake granite because obviously granite is very expensive. So we wanted to fake it out. This is another water supply we have, so it's, ah! you said to be fancy. Oh, there you go. So you can pop it off, but I don't know why you need to do, because it's just a, it's not really taking a shower with it. So when you go down a little, we have the very nice organized spice um, container, kind of like a spice rock of peppery gun and all that stuff. Then if you, if you open this, you have a garbage can, because I think this is useful, then the garbage can just stay. This, oh, this is obviously a stove, but it lights on with propane, propane, and yeah, it's, can you turn it on? Alright. So, now that the stove is lit, it is, um, lit by propane, if you didn't see this, go the lighter. As you can see, it's the pro two propane tanks are right here, and we this is the hot water here, um, we have teapots, and everything you can, kind of like appliances also. Um, then we have a nice shelf rack, kind of the same as the spice cabinet thing. And then we have, this is very useful, to hangs, and a very nice poster that's just more design than town. You have more of socks, um, my uncle loves socks. We have some other materials down here, and this is very essential for having a bus. So you all take the pulse over, Then we have tons of different essential things. We have orange juice, milk, and a lot of food. This is the refrigerator that can be pulled out. It's very essential for our bus. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Well, a little toaster oven that looks like it belongs to a doll. And then we have a night microwave that looks like it belongs to a human or a cat. I don't know. On the ceiling, we have wood. And if you didn't see the crack, there is solar panel, solar panel lights. We have lights on the bus, so that's a little light switch. Can dim it. And turn it on. So that's very useful. Over here is a propane detector because if you didn't know propane would blow everyone up and you would all die. But it's okay, we're fine. Mm -hmm. That's why we have this. That'll beep and then we we'll have to run and then we we'll have to, yeah. Then we have this is like how fast the solar panels are charging. Um, it's at 80% right now because maybe it's maybe one under a shade place because we kind of want it, please. Oh yeah, we have USB ports so we can charge mm -hmm. any electrical device here. This is right here, and they're, I think they're superchargers. My phone charges very fast with this. And there's also one over there. Um, so the couch is obviously comfortable because she has already did the spot, right? Yeah? And a bonus is you might be wondering if this is a real house, I wonder where the bed is. Well, this couch turns into a bed. So you pull this out, not really seen. 
So, you pull this out and it's automatically turned into a bed. It might just look like a comfortable couch and a little bigger, but if you take a lot of these out, keep the pillows and that a nice sheet, it can turn into a really comfortable bed. I showed the other one that controls kind of like the whole bus. This is more like a work light you can study with. Now we are going to go check out the mechanicals, which might sound extremely boring, but I'll make it interesting because I'm very good at that, I think. Open this up. It's actually, ah! Gonna kill me. Here we have the battery bank, which stores your electricity instead of money. We have 200 amps um, over by the battery bank. The fuse box is over there. If you didn't know, the fuse box protects the wires from fires. The electricity comes in from the solar panels. Solar panels <laughs> in this box right there with the red, yellow, and blue dots. Right here is how we keep warm in the winter. The red big thing is kind of noticeable. It is a diesel tank. So interesting. We have a diesel heater with a diesel tank, which is really interesting. You can stick your head in here if you want. I don't know why, but you can. We have a water tank over here, which I think is actually the most impressive because think about it, you're getting water in a bus. It's pretty, pretty cool. And the water tank over here, which is so wide over there, and has a tube connecting to the bus inside. So if you're wondering why we've been blabbing, blabbing about these solar panels, we are going to show you how they work. Let's get to it. We're going in the bus. So here we are on top of the bus. We have a nice view. Um, it's my house. That's my house over there. Oh, hey, Kira. You want to come up? She wants to come up. All right. So here we are on top of the bus with my sister. Um, Such a big pool they have. So anyway, if you're wondering why they're talking about the solar panels, um, they're over there. And they connect to the roof because solar is from the sun, which solar means sun. And the su sun connects to these, powering most of the bus electronics. So I showed you the diesel heater, which was under there, and this is where the heat comes out. And this is how we work the heater. Very simple. It's at 24 right now. <laughs> Not on right now, because it's summer. So over here, this little cap is the inverter, so we can have an electrical outlet. Um, it, it also um this can turn off and on it's just very interesting to me <laughs> um, here is the water tank it can hold about 40 tanks of water gallons if you think it's a tank like one of those things that people dry and shoot bombs and not that this is the water pump that is the water pump <laughs> so this is how i fill up the water it has a really big supply of water Oh yeah, we have 40 gallons of water. Right. Um, this um, is a very nice painted picture of a parrot with a little cute cat and a beautiful ocean. It's called City Island, New York. I painted it. Oh, she painted it, yeah. Then, on the door we showed you in the beginning, if you didn't see it, this is a better picture to me. It has a cute little homeland, a little church, it's called City Iceland A. It looks a lot like Greenfield, where I live. The I place I have. That also. Yeah, she painted everything here. She's a. It's, well, so, some people say this bus is a landmark because I met a girl who saw this bus. She's like, "Oh my God, you guys are from Greenfield! I know this bus in your driveway." So, uh, this bus is a very tall landmark because it's very noticeable because it's blue.